In this video, we are going to take a look at how to create a real estate website in just 10 minutes by just using Gutenberg page builder and plugins. So we are going to build this real estate agent website. So here we have the logo on the left hand side and navigation on the right. And below that we have our hero section with the agent introduction. And we also have some feature properties here. And after that we have a call to action for different categories. And then we have some services section. And below that we have client testimonies. And after that we have this big giant footer. And all that will be done by just using native Gutenberg page builder. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. So here we are in our WordPress backend and I'm considering that you have already booked your domain and hosting. But if you have not, then you can go ahead and check the links in the video description below for our preferred hosting and domain booking websites. But if you have already done that, then your WordPress backend should look like this. So the first step is to add a Gutenberg theme. So we will go to appearance and we will go to themes. And right now we have the 2020 theme, but instead of this, we are going to use Cadence theme. So let's go ahead and click on add new and then search for Cadence. So this is the Cadence theme, which is very lightweight and it got so many options that you can customize to build your any style of website or blog by just using Gutenberg page builder. So let's go ahead and install that and then click on activate. So now we have Cadence theme installed and activated and here on the very top we see we have an option to install Cadence starter templates. So once we click on that, it will give us option for various ready-made templates that we can use to build our complete WordPress website. So even if you are not a designer, you don't have to worry about how to start designing your website. By using these ready-made templates, you can easily start with any kind of website or blog. So here we are looking for a real estate website template and they do have a real estate website starter template that we can use. So if we click on this one, we can import this complete website. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, once we choose to import the complete website here in the import details, we can see it's going to add or import Cadence Blocks plugin. So this plugin will give us a lot of ready-made Gutenberg blocks, which we can use to design any kind of page. And we have already covered about this in our previous video. You can go ahead and watch that in the I button above. After that, we also have option to import customizer setting and sample content. So we're definitely going to need that to fill up our website with sample content. Once that is done, you can subscribe to their newsletter. But right now we are going to skip and start importing. So this is going to take a few minutes to import all the plugin data and the content. All right, so the import is done. We can now uh, click on this button to view our website. So this is how it looks in the front end. So here we have our logo, menu, social media icons and a big giant hero section. So all that is done by just using Cadence theme and Cadence Blocks plugin. So we have designed all this stuff by just using Cadence Blocks plugin. So first of all, let's go ahead and see how you can edit your logo and the menu here. So for that, we have option in customizer as we are using Cadence theme. So the option will depend what theme you use. So here in order to change this logo or edit this menu, we have these pencil icons showing here. So we can either click on this to enter the header editor or maybe we can just use this navigation on this left hand side. So we can click on header and we are back in the header editor. So in order to update this logo, we can click on this logo widget here and then we can upload our image. And just in case, if you want to change anything in this header section, you can just play around with the placement of the widget and you will be able to create entirely new header. So this is just to give you an example how you can use various widgets to customize your header. And if in case you want to add any new widget, you can go ahead and use this plus icon that we have in all these three rows. 
So let's say we don't want to add social media icons here. We want to add this on the row above. So if we click on this plus icon, we have social icons here and then the icons will be back again. And if we click on this wrench icon here, we can add all the social media icons. And in the same way, we can edit or create our footer as well. So if we go down, so here is our footer. Let's click on this pencil icon. So now we are under footer customizer. So here again, we see the widgets in the row number one. And at the very bottom row, we have the copyright information, which is showing here. And on the right hand side, we have these two links. So all that can be controlled by this widget editor. So here you can see we now have the Gutenberg editor for this widget area. So you can go ahead and do any customization here. So just like our header, we can play around with the widgets in our footer as well. And with that, your header and footer will be done. Now let's go ahead and see how this page is created so that we can add or edit content here. So for that, we need to click on edit page. So we go in the edit page and here is the page editor. And on the very top, we have this row section. Here we have two column layout. On the left hand side, we have this text here and this call to action button. And if you want to change the percentage of width, you can play around with this slider. Or maybe you can use these predefined layouts. In the same way, we have this row section. And in order to edit any text, you just need to click on this and then you can enter any text here. And if you want to learn how you can use these Gutenberg blocks to create any page structures, you can watch our beginner's guide to Gutenberg editor. The link is given in the I button above. So that video will help you if you are new to the Gutenberg editor. And if we come down here, we have these feature properties. So right now this is done by using the info box widget or the info box block, I should say. So for this info box, we can give a link which you can see on the right hand side here. So you can give a link to a new page or blog post or maybe a custom post if you are building an advanced real estate website. So with that link, your user can go to the detail page of that property listing because for the real estate website, your visitors surely want to see the details of the property. So this can act as a showcase where they can see featured property on home. And in order to create a detailed page about a property, let's go back and see how it is done. So we will update this page. And here on the first link, we have a sample property page created. If we click on that, so this is our sample property listing here on the very top. We have this image gallery for the property that you want to showcase. And we have the name and price details and some text and all the other details. And after that, we have the location as well as the agent contact details with request to quote option. So in order to edit this page, all you have to do is just click on edit page and you will be back in the Gutenberg page editor. So here we can see that in the first row, in the background settings, we are right now using an image slider. So with these three slides, you can upload the property images here and create this cool looking slider for your property detail page. And after that, you can go ahead and play around with the Gutenberg editor to create your complete real estate listing page. And as mentioned before, all these listings of property for this template, it's done by just using the info box block. So in order to build this as a dynamic website, you need to create custom posts and then show your property listings here. So how to create these advanced custom blog posts? We will cover that in some other video. So for that, make sure you subscribe to this channel. So this is how easy it is to create a real estate website using Cadence theme starter template and by just using Gutenberg blocks. If you want to learn how to create more websites by just using Gutenberg page builder, then do let us know which website you want to create and we will try our best to bring a video tutorial about it. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button and to watch more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. And if you need any expert help regarding your website, you can connect with us using the link given in the video description below. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.